Good evening, family, friends, everyone from Holy Comforter, and everyone who may be joining us tonight. Whoever you are and wherever you are, so glad that you can be with us here tonight to say the lovely service of Compline here on this Friday night in Easter season. I always like to uh, say, for those who may be joining us for the first time, that in the tradition of Christian monasticism, monks and nuns in community would gather seven times throughout the day or night for prayer. And this is known as saying the daily office. And the last of these seven gatherings for prayer is known as Compline which is said at or near bedtime as an individual or as the community prepares for sleep. Uh, this service is named Compline, which comes from the Latin to complete, the Latin verb to complete. So this completes the seven uh, hours of the daily office for the day, and it completes the day as a whole. While the daily office forms the basis of prayer, day in and day out, within the monastic tradition, it's practiced by many Christians, both clergy and laity. It's an ancient service, it's a lovely service, uh, and it is one that is uh, much valued by lots and lots of people. So. Our service tonight can be found on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. It can be accessed online in the online version of the Book of Common Prayer. Um, our services are always found on forwardmovement.org and the daily prayer page. Uh, but of course you don't need any of those things. You can just uh, follow along and go with the service as it goes in the moment. So, again, uh, to anyone and everyone who may be joining, uh, welcome this lovely, warm uh, Friday evening in May, whoever you are and wherever you are. You are welcome here. We'll take just a few moments of silence and then we'll begin our service. We begin in order for Compline on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer, if that's helpful to you. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Tonight we shall say in unison a portion of Psalm 134, verses 1 and 2. This is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 131, if you're following there. Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading tonight is at the bottom of page 131. It's a reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. If you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer or online in the Book of Common Prayer, our service continues with the prayers on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And then the Lord's Prayer, praying together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the middle of page 134, praying together, we say, Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work, or watch, or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. 
Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. And shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And now we'll take a few moments of silence and we will offer our own prayers, intercessions or thanksgivings that we may offer. Of course, you're welcome to type these into the chat box and we can pray these together now and later. So a few minutes of silence to offer our prayers. Abide with us, O God, for evening is here and the day is done. Abide with us, for the days are hastening on and we hasten with them. Abide with us and with all your faithful people until the day star rises and the morning light appears, and we shall abide with you and with each other forever and ever and ever. Amen. These and all our prayers, spoken and unspoken, we commend to you, Almighty God, in love and with great thanksgiving. Amen. Our service continues at the bottom of page 134. We'll say the antiphon together, followed by the song of Simeon, and then we'll repeat the antiphon together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God and the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Family, friends, everyone from Holy Comforter, everyone who joins us tonight, whoever you are and wherever you are. I'm so glad that you could be here with us tonight. You're always welcome. Wishing you the very best for the rest of your night, a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.